Greetings from Lakewood, Ohio. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. It is 5.42 p.m. and a beautiful 70 degrees. This week finally got warm in the Northeast Ohio area. Oh, consistently warm, I should say. We did have a day last week that got up to 80, but we have a string of days that are reaching 70. I'm at the corner of Valley Parkway and Sloan. So for some perspective, I did a video last year, a two-part video actually, that it, the part one began near West Boulevard and went down Lorraine Avenue like to Cam's Corner. And then part two went through the Rocky River Reservation into Lakewood. That part two video ended basically right over there. So if anybody saw that video, I think it actually ended it right there. But that would be where the Rocky River Reservation is. And if you went down there, there would be the river. And I know the gate, or not gate, but the fence here is going to kind of be in the way. But maybe if I stick my camera through a little bit, you can get a peek of the peak of the river. Hopefully that's not too blurry. But what we're, what we're going to try to do today is walk down Detroit Avenue in Lakewood, Ohio. And I'll talk more about that in a second. First, I want to just, uh, point out this sign here. The Detroit Avenue Bridge. I guess it was being constructed from 1908 to 1910. It's not really a fancy bridge. It just connects Detroit Avenue. Excuse me, the... Detroit Avenue between Lakewood and Rocky River. It says it was the fourth bridge to span the Rocky River, opened in 1910. So nice to have a little dedication there. You can see one of the 55 buses actually comes this way. I don't know if, how many of them do. Let's try to, uh, I mean that 55 I presumably is going to turn into Rocky River. Let's cross this intersection so we don't have to wait too long. On the left would be Blackbird Baking Company. I actually was looking them up because I'm like, oh, I could use a good dessert. With they closed at 5 o'clock p.m. But the thing I was going to mention was sometime, I think it was last year, I tried doing a video in Lakewood starting like right at this point. But it was a live stream and I really wanted to highlight Detroit Avenue and what it had to offer but unfortunately for like the first 30 minutes of the live stream I kept on getting a buffering signal so it was really frustrating because I wanted I was stopping to like try to talk about a business or showcase something and I had to stop and just like start fast walking forward to try to get a better connection and I told myself one day I'm going to come back and do the same walk but on a pre-recorded version so that way I don't have to worry about internet connection. So we're passing something called Second Soul here. Looks like they sell some type of shoes or sandal. Maybe it's a running shoe place. The bike lane that comes from like the Rocky River trail does continue, but only to that uh, intersection over there. It doesn't go any further than that. Fish fry homemade pierogies. This is around the saloon cafe, Lakewood, Ohio. And it looks like they were also celebrating Dingus Day yesterday. Some place called the Security Hut. I'm not sure if any buses actually go in there. It says Lakewood West End Station. 
but really the only bus that passes through here is the 26. I do see a 26 sign in there, so maybe it does loop in there. But across the way there you've got a hairy buffalo. I remember making a point of this when I did my live stream video. I'm like fascinated by the out of place architecture of these four or five buildings right here. Because it looks nothing like the rest of Lakewood or even Northeast Ohio. We are walking westbound on Detroit. Here's Dewey's Pizza. Not sure. I think they're open. I see at least one person inside. Yeah, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday. And then West End Tavern. Borderline Cafe and Insomnia Cookies. See, I should have stopped in there for Insomnia Cookies. <laughs> you know, before I walk too far, looks like there's something across the street there. Can't quite read what it says, but it appears that they have like those domes for the outdoor dining, although with the temperature, you really don't need that today. Today would be a day where you don't want the domes. You want to enjoy the fresh air outside. Lakewood Furnace Company. I think that's the type of furnace my, my mom would love to try out and have installed, or some, something to that effect, like the old school ones. And you've got Riverwood Cafe. So this is Riverside we're at now. If I'm not mistaken, I think if you kept going all the way that way and just like kept on going and going and going, you would eventually reach Cam's Corner. I think I may cross the street here. I wonder if that car wash is relatively new. Even though I'm not down at this end of Detroit so often, I'm more a little bit westward when I come through Lakewood. It just doesn't ring a bell seeing the exterior of that car wash. I like doing these type of videos where like you walk the full length of a street, at least from one portion to another, you got a Papa John's across the street there, because you know a lot of times it helps people who, for example, used to live in the area get to compare like, oh, you know, I, I remember that. I found that one, my Lorraine Avenue video from West Boulevard to Cam's Corner ended up being one of the more popular ones. And also, when I first released it, there was a video I did from basically Riverside to West 117th walking down Madison. That one got some nice traction, too. So let's see here. I'm not sure if this place is open. 
Oh, okay. I was confused on the location of it. There's India Garden Restaurant and Bar. So that is back there, tucked away. It says, all you can eat lunch buffet seven days a week, $14.95. And in this place, I'm still determined to try one day. Molte Bene Italian Eatery. Cute little place, right? In fact, I gotta take a picture of this for my, uh, I need to remember to take a couple pictures when I promote Detroit on social media. And then across the street, you can see that place is actually really busy. Cilantro Taquiera Mexican Restaurant. We've got the whole parking lot full and some street parking. Passing Detroit and Melee. Stella and Shea Beauty Bar to my right. I don't know if this, like I, when I think of the pink leaves blowing, I think of cherry blossoms. I don't know whether I should technically call this cherry blossom tree, but this is the season for that. I've been monitoring online when Wade Lagoon at University Circle will have all their cherry blossoms in full bloom like it's progressively been getting thicker and thicker when you look at the pictures but it's not peak bloom yet so when i go do a video this year at that place i want to make sure if i put in that effort for the video that i'm getting like the peak bloom which could actually be later this week what do we have here a craft supplies store Priv Privitera and Company Design Studio. And then to our left, we've got Mercury Music Lounge. And then that little space there is Oscar's Pizza. And I can't read what the other little wording says, but that's interesting that they got a little place there that serves pizza. Oh, even at the top there, on the sign, I don't know if you can see, Oscar's has got a cat with a pizza in the cat's mouth. I was tempted to run over there if they sold slices, but based on their online menu, I think they only sell whole, whole pizzas. the fire station across the way. And then Elmira Tire Service if you need alignment, shocks, and mufflers serviced. I smelled this earlier at Donato's. The pizza like ovens must be on full force because you can really smell it from even way over here. this electric Cleveland this is one of the things I like doing too is featuring uh, storefronts by the way I passed up this place here what is this mill and me looks like a clothing and maybe a dog treats place but this other place electric Cleveland yeah it's interesting a lamp with a painting on it because of the sunlight you're more so seeing my reflection Looks like there's some interesting artwork inside. Lakewood Squirrels Summer Tour. This tour is nuts. What the heck is that? <laughs> Maybe that's an uh, artist. The Lock Loft. Ooh, 
Gray House Pies. So it looks like a place that sells pies here. And then there's a bike rack here. I don't remember this bike rack in the past. Maybe I just overlooked it. And then Breadsmith's Artisan Breads. I often see people coming in and out of Breadsmith. And this is West Clifton that we're on right now. So if you went down that way toward, you would hit Riverside. And then if you went that way, you would hit Clifton. The 55 bus also drops you off there. I also have Lakewood Congressional Church on the right. And then St. Peter's Episcopal Church right here. There's a street I featured in the past, I think it was two years ago for Halloween time. The name at the moment escapes me, but it was like a Halloween, heavily decorated Halloween street in Lakewood. That street is somewhat near here. It's about three, two or three blocks that way. There's a spa entrance right here, Sacred Hour. Construction on that looks pretty new. <laughs> Lots of people out walking their dogs today. Speaking of the devil, two more dogs. Here's the Beck Center for the Arts, and if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to turn right here, and we'll have a mural on our right. Looks like you also have one of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame guitars here. This one actually encompasses, it seems like a lot of buildings that were are, are in downtown Cleveland. Like I see the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, maybe the Galleria and some of the other nearby buildings. I think that one's the Lewis Stokes wing of the library. I can't quite identify all of them. Like I don't know what the orange one is, but it says, we can read it. We built this city. Sorry, it's very faded, so I had to like read it at the right angle. But the Beck Center for Arts, it's like they have some contemporary type of art. Something I'm just noticing now is there used to be a an actual bus shelter right there, if I'm not mistaken. So that bus shelter for the 26 is no longer there. There's several individual bike racks. You have another piece of contemporary art. And then one more over here. And then presumably there's probably other pieces inside.
don't know, something seems different here. Like, I feel like a building here was torn down or something. I'm going to have to look at Google Maps. And you know what? I forgot. Since I'm not live streaming, I can actually do that. Let me pull it up real quick. So I know the glare is going to make this challenging to see. But see that driveway in the picture? That would be the driveway right behind us. And then, yeah, as recently as a year ago, they had a building right here where this open space is. So they must have torn that down. I do see a sign that says blooming in 2023. Your gift will help us grow a better tomorrow. So I don't know if they're going to put a new building here or if they're just turning this into like an outdoor maybe garden area or what. This is Salt, a restaurant. It says they're open 5 to 10 p.m., but I don't know. It kind of looks shuttered to me. Here's Regal Beagle, popular salon for... It's like a, it almost looks like a salon and bar. <laughs> and then Nunzio's Pizza. And then on the corner here, we have a Dunkin' Donuts. See, these things aren't necessarily new now, but like... I remember when the Dunkin' Donuts was built. Is it still a Dunkin' Donuts? Where's the signage for it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, the signage is just on the side of the building behind me. See, Duncan. To our right is a Social Security Administration building for Lakewood. Again, this is another example of a building that's been here quite a while. I wouldn't be surprised if it's been here for a decade. But around that time or prior to that, I remember when it was a church, a pretty big church, and then they tore down the church and replaced it with the Social Security Administration building. On the left side of the street, by the way, we're passing Roycroft Avenue right now. On the left side of the street, diagonal from us, is St. James. And then here on our right, we've got a florist company. Window Universe is advertising in some of these storefronts and then here we've got Cuckoo Sentiment. Seems like they sell some nice local stuff. I like how the pillows are showing some like neighborhood related things like here's Lakewood and Lakewood Park and some of the nearby streets, Madison and a little bit of the Rocky River Reservation. So, and again, the game there that says you gotta know Cleveland. Uh, the mugs back there have the state of Ohio on it. Impressions photography. And then Serum Works Studio. Looks like they draw pictures and canvas painting and do private parties.
Let's jump over to the left side of the street for a second. That's where GV Artwork and Design is located, or GV Art and Design. One of the most popular Cleveland t-shirt companies. Chances are you've seen a lot of their designs, and they have a lot of athlete representation. They're at the corner of Granger and Detroit. Well, Granger is the uh, name of the street that's by St. James. The one on this side would be Larchmont. Oh, let's see here. I gotta remember the turn lane. They, see, they turned first off of Granger, and then after that, we'll probably get it once this light goes green for Larchmont. Yep. So GV Artwork and Design used to be located in those strip of stores right there that we just passed earlier. They then at some point a few years ago moved their headquarters, I don't know what to call it headquarters, but their main location over to this side. I'm not sure if they have a window here. Yeah, again, because the sun is at a point in the day where it's shining so low, it's going to be a little bit hard to see some of this stuff. That's a nice picture of some Cleveland places. When the Guardians changed their name from Indians, I know that was a popular t-shirt design of the Guardians statue with a baseball player embedded in it. The Guardians of the Diamond. Cleveland Browns merchandise. They have like their own elf, but you can see where players have worn the shirts before. Miles Garrett for Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Is that Elgalskis? It looks like Elgalskis almost, the way his shooting stroke used to be. Again, it's probably really hard to see with the sun glare. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I was going to say, why everything's so dark? Like, But they, that explains it, they closed at 6 p.m. So they closed about 13 minutes ago. And this is one of their more popular concepts where you've got a combination of Brownie the Elf, the sword for the Cavaliers, and the old Chief Wahoo pennant all combined into one. You got Cleveland Vape. Then burning river coffee and cleveland vegan so now you start getting hit with more places in a short span across the street is game on I think they're a restaurant and bar. And then here's a place called Daystar Boutique. Looks like they've got some cool, unique merchandise too. And then the Proper Pig Smokehouse Barbecue.
booths. Appears to be a bar. You have a State Farm location and then Lakewood Antique Mall. So they must have some antiques in there. It's a little hard to see exactly the depth of the store, but... And again, my apologies. I know when I'm looking through this preview lens on this camera, all I'm seeing is like the glare of the sun as opposed to what's actually in the window. But you'll just have to trust based on what I'm saying and come check it out for yourself. What's actually in the windows. Here's modern Mexican. You got a cool bike rack here too. The YMCA is to my right across the street and on the left here you've got Take 5 oil change. And then right up here to our left is one of the more popular places in Lakewood. The Lakewood Truck Park. If you look online they'll have a schedule of what's being served and what trucks are going to be present that day. What's also cool is they have like outdoor TVs like over there and that's playing the baseball game. So is this one here. And then during the warmer part of the season, or sorry, colder part of the seasons, they have like those outdoor domes. It looks like they even have a bar out here. Here's the bike rack. They got plenty of spaces for bike racks. So yeah. Like I said, if you're trying to plan, like, oh, will I like whatever is being served that day, just look online. From what I remember in the past, they list what food truck is going to be there on what day. There's a Dairy Queen Orange Julius. And then on our left here is Edwards Park. The infield's actually pretty big for this place. But overall, the field is meant for little kids across the street is an auto zone which is a converted building Up here on our left is Kazumel Mexican Restaurant. And the parking lot looks pretty busy there too. So, seems like the Mexican restaurants in Lakewood are a pretty big hit. And then on the right side you have Uptown Mart. And then where that McDonald's is, that is the location of the old Detroit movie theater. So if you remember in Lakewood around this area where there used to be a movie theater, that's the spot of it. Torn down long ago and replaced with the McDonald's. Here's James, Games, and more. I like the characters that are on display. You can see they've got a big toad and then that's a Donkey Kong over there some other character I'm pretty sure inside they'll have a big big Mario you would if you would assume Yolanda's salon health markets eerie design so a sign place and then a candle company and Delta IT Advisors. I think this used to be a computer, like a used computer or repair store. 
here's Trinity Lutheran Church, but I'm pretty sure this, yeah, it's for lease. So to say it's not no longer being operated as a church. I don't know what the future plans are for it. But yeah, right across the street there where that McDonald's is. That's the site of the old movie theater location. And then across from that you have a Rite Aid. So right now we're at Woodward on the right side and then if you went to the left over here that would be Westlake Avenue. I think when I was reading about when the church was sold that these buildings here were also part of the property. So I guess that would probably explain why they're all vacant at Westlake you have a Hungry Howie's Pizza and Mr. Hero I wonder if this place is still in business. You can see on the side of the building it says, Celebrate Life with Chocolate. Also, by the way, it looks like this used to be neighborhood family practice, and it says that we are now in Birdtown neighborhood, so I've seen that. That's where, uh, kind of close to 117th and Madison is. There's an art gallery here, and this is where the sign said, Chocolatier. It does say open, so I never realized there was a chocolate place here. Open from 10 to 7, so they actually are open right now. In the window they've got like individual chocolates, like stuff like this. Steve Barry Buick, no longer in operation. You can tell like the old, inside of an old car place. So I guess Steve Barry Buick owned, must have had not only this, but that place across the street, because they both say that. And that actually right there says Steve Barry Buick. So I don't know what the status is of all three of those properties, but clearly there's no uh, presence of an active business. Yeah, for a lot of these streets, they don't like go through the same on both sides. Like for example, over here on the right, you have Rosewood Avenue, but there's no corresponding Rosewood on the left. That's where like it starts there and goes all the way to at least Madison. I'm not sure if it goes beyond that. And then up ahead, it like changes. The left side is Summit and the right side is Woodward. Some Unique architecture on this place here, Lake Point Medical Group. Over on the right, that building says Armed Forces Career Center, Air Force, Army, Navy. And then you've got a chiropractic place, quilting bee, and a tanning place. And then to our left you have Lakewood United Methodist Church. So quite a few churches along Detroit.
salon and spa here on the left. Now, something I'm gonna have to look up too is right over there, it says Bar Italia. Now, I know that's been a popular place when I've gone by it in the past, but I swear that's, I don't remember that name, Bar Italia. Maybe I'm just going crazy and it's uh, always been that, I don't know. But there's also Nature's Oasis. Another salon. Over on that corner, you've got Mary Arts Pub and Grill, and then Roman Fountain Pizza Subs. And then next to the Roman Fountain is a vacuum store. To our left is Beats Cycle, one of the I definitely know there's two bicycle places in Lakewood. This is the one I'm familiar with on Detroit. The other one I know of is on Madison, which is, is that called Spin Cycle? I'm trying to remember. Here's Ross Beverage Craft Beers, followed by Westwood Dry Cleaners and the Lakewood Travel Bureau. And you've got a CVS Pharmacy on the corner of Arthur and Detroit. I was just about to say, this is where I start thinking of downtown Lakewood, and sure enough, the sign right there, downtown Lakewood, as you see a 26 approaching that bus stop. And we could detour a little bit and check out Kaufman Park. In previous years, I've, I've covered this area a bit for uh, downtown Lakewood like Christmas lights videos and I will get back there in a second but I'm just checking out what they have over here I can't I'm not sure, I know these used to be tennis courts but I was wondering if they ever converted any of them to a basketball court I don't seem to see any basketball I don't even see the nets for the tennis court up or the poles even for the tennis court. There's like someone put in two nets up where you could play like uh, floor hockey. <laughs> I thought maybe with the pickleball craze that this could be a candidate for them to put in a pickleball court here. Nice little park down here though. And then the baseball field. Looks like they took out the bleachers. I think there used to be higher bleachers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Because we used to watch, my mom, dad, brother, and I used to come here and we would watch the fireworks. And you could walk, if I'm not mistaken, I thought like this gate, you could walk like downstairs over there. And then there would be bleachers all around. Maybe I'm wrong on that a little bit but I feel like where that groove is of all that grass like there used to be bleachers up against that and it would go down all the way and the reason we would be there is because uh, for the 4th of July we would go there to see the Lakewood Park fireworks because the Lakewood, Lakewood Park is just a little bit over there so you know they shoot off the fireworks and you get a pretty good view of it right here because you got the open sky and it's it would still get crowded here 
but not as crowded maybe as Lakewood Park would be. And this is the back parking lot for Drug Mart and a few other places. So it's, yeah, this was a sizable back parking lot, especially for when they would do that 4th of July thing. You'd be able to get a spot and just go out there and enjoy the fireworks. What's funny was that's how I grew up knowing fireworks. That was my fireworks show for like, I don't know, felt like seven, eight years. That's, you know, that's, when I thought of fireworks, I was like, oh, we're going to Kaufman Park to view the fireworks. Only later on did I realize, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know, Lakewood Park is actually a big place where people go to to view them. I've, I was at Lakewood Park once for the actual fireworks. That was back in 2019. So to my right, you've got the Lakewood Public Library, along with that big sculpture. I'm not sure if they've been permitted back yet, but these lines here are supposed to indicate like designated scooter drop-off zones. Now this on our left is a former church that became the headquarters for Roundstone Insurance. And then last year there was a headline that Roundstone was going to eventually move their headquarters to the site of the old Lakewood Hospital and there's going to be a big construction project, but Roundstone was going to be a big part of it. And then a couple months ago, I think in February, January, February this year, I saw an article that indicated that Roundstone basically dropped out of the deal and is actually going to depart Lakewood altogether and move to a different city, possibly Rocky River. I don't know exactly where, but they're going to go elsewhere. So if you remember me mentioning that construction project in my Detroit Avenue walk last year, they are still going to try to go through with that project, but instead of the one building being Roundstone headquarters, they're going to make it... Uh, additional housing like apartment units across the street there you've got H&R Block that place is new Sacred Waters Cava Bar Subway and an insurance company I think where the insurance company is is where Domino's Pizza used to be And then also a big dollar general store on the right. <laughs> to our left is Lakewood Masonic Temple. And then that's followed by another church building. I'm not sure if this one's an active church or not. It says Church of the Redeemer on the stone, but I like the sign there is like gone, so maybe it's no longer a active church. Hard to say. The Root Cafe is on the left. When I bring my bike to go to the record exchange, I usually lock it up right there. There's a hair and body parlor on the left, and then the next place is Lion and Blue Clothing, Gifts, and Jewelry. 
Oh, interesting. Downtown Lakewood Spring Stroll. Brunch in the Arts, May 7th, 2023. So some type of event to help presumably promote small business. They're closed right now, but again, you can see Oh, I love these uh, frogs here. God, I wish you could see them better without the glare. Let me ch I'm going to try to get a picture. And then here is the exchange. I haven't necessarily bought anything here in a long time, but still, it's cool to know that they exist. Selling all the old video games oh what's this okay that's just the homeowner throwing out stuff <laughs> i was gonna say did the exchange throw out uh precious video game stuff yeah but they sell dvds games movies and old records but for the longest time that's where i would get all my video games and such I don't know what this used to be way back when, but I know recently it was a Sprint store. In fact, when I bought or activated my phone the one time, I had to go there to do it. Here you've got Dave's Hot Chicken. A juicery and eatery cycle fly so this one's more of like a peloton i think where you're going on a stationary bike great clips gnc rosie's wine house and then that's the main plaza in downtown lakewood it's called lakewood city center they've got chipotle marks Pet Supplies Plus. I know there's a UPS store, Marco's Pizza, Wingstop. I forget if I said GameStop, Supercuts. And then down at the very other end, there's a Charlie's. This is the corner of Cook right now. When I show the downtown Lakewood Christmas tree, that's the tree over there that's usually has the decorations on it, along with the big American flag. And then over there on the right, you've got Dave's Cosmic Subs, Vegan Donut Company, Supermarket, Crazy Mullet Super Salon. Deegan's Kitchen and Bar. I'm not sure if they're open though. And then this right here is First Federal Bank of Lakewood. Or First Federal Lakewood. This is the corner of Detroit and Warren Road. Booms Pizza, Lakewood. And I'm taking a photo of this mural here. Never passed up a chance to see a mural. There's also a place down there called The Place to Be Restaurant. So Boom's Pizza seems to have a couple customers in it. I don't that seems like a new place to me. I thought this was something else. Looks like they're making the pizzas actually in the the window right there. And then you've got Melt Bar and Grill. So this is the Lakewood location for Melt. 
the melt extends over to this side too. And it looks, I'm guessing at some point, they'll also have outdoor seating. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had that little back area there. Across the way you've got sauced tap room. You can see they have glass windows open, so like a patio you can convert to. AT&T store, Bank of America, and then Panera Bread on the corner. And then on my left here is Geiger's. So Geiger's used to be, well, when I say used to be, they had multiple locations, but they also used to be in downtown Cleveland, next to where Heinen's is. This is St. Charles in Detroit. I have wondered in the past what's exactly in these buildings. I assume it's like office space, but on the ground level you've got Lakewood Optical, Farage, Public House. And I think that right there, where that torn up ground was, used to be a bagel place. And then even though they tore down Lakewood Hospital, which was over there, they still maintained the emergency room. So if you need an emergency, you, you can still go here. I don't know the exact specifics, like if they service anything else, but... That's just by assumption because I see emergency on the outside. Cleveland Clinic, Family Health Center. Oh, it does say Family Health Center, Lakewood. So maybe it is just like a doctor's office with, with an emergency room. And then you've got uh, Aladdin's over here, along with the mural by At the Lovely Forest. And something I'm also seeing here on the left, looks like there's a UH Lakewood primary care place for university hospitals. I'll cross over here. Yep, so this on the right, who knows when the project will actually get fully funded and constructed. This is where the old Lakewood Hospital was located and there is still a plan to build well, what formerly was going to be partially roundstone and then a bunch of other housing and some retail spot opportunities. But now instead of that one building in the front being roundstone, it's going to be all housing with some retail options and made to look you know modern and nice. I mean, you can see that's a huge lot of land. so. You know, it makes sense for it to be developed and taken advantage of by Lakewood. As we're approaching Marlowe now. On the left, left side of the street would be Lakewood Presbyterian.
the India restaurant on my right. Here's Paisley Monkey. Oh, he's still got the winter snowflakes up. No, time to take the winter down. <laughs> The Butcher Block Deli. E-Tech Computer, so there looks like a computer repair store. And over there on the left you would have Ohio City Burrito, an art gallery, and a place called Cotton. A spot where I often start my Christmas videos is outside of here. They're celebrating 20 years according to the signage. Don't have Christmas windows now, just showing their furniture and lamps. But this is called Avenue Home Furniture Accessories and Design. So they're in spring mode now. Yeah, during Christmas time, it's a treat to see their window displays. <laughs> there's Nostaros Rock Climbing Gym. There's actually one of these right near Cleveland State University. But the reason why I'm going down here, well A, you can see another church building, but it's no longer a church. So inside of this has been converted into a rock climbing gym. But what I'm fascinated about is I, I never, I've been by here and I'm pretty sure this has to be new. Oh, 2021. So yeah, it's relatively new. The low, also by the lovely force, the same guy that did that last, or same person who did that last one I showed. But yeah, really cool mural spanning the height of it. Yeah, so it looks like, based on the sign there, this used to be something called Lakewood Baptist Church. Although, huh, interesting. It still says Easter egg on April 9th. I know that's past, but the signage is indicating that it is still a church. So maybe the, maybe the front part is still being used as a church, and maybe No Storos, the rock climbing portion, is using, like, the back portion? I don't know. Interesting. It's a place called Edible on the right. Although it looks like, yeah, they closed at 5 o'clock. And on the left there, New Life Church. So Domino's, which used to be back by Dollar General, moved over there a while ago when that was new construction. And something I'm just realizing right now, I wonder when that went in. They put a crumble cookie next to Domino's. And in the fitness place beside that. So yeah, that whole place is now occupied with tenants. You've got a PNC bank for Lakewood here on the right side. S 
6 o'clock. Their hours say 9 to 6 every day. That's surprising, isn't it? I thought banks usually are closed around 4, 4.30ish, except for like Fridays. If we went down this street, you would meet uh, Lakewood High School. Here's Hickson's Incorporated. My mom was telling me about this place, and unfortunately, I think I read right around Christmas time this year. I assume he was the man responsible for it, like the uh, Hickson's. He was like 90. I felt like he was in his upper 90s if I read the article or remember the article correctly, but he passed away. But presumably someone else, I don't know, his family or someone else is still operating it. You can see all the decorations. So you've got a mix of still Christmas decorations, but then the, you know, little Easter egg decorations. And the huge doll in the front. Down there on the left would be a giant eagle tucked below the hill, along with a winking lizard tavern. And on the right here, this is relatively new as well, a Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. And oftentimes you'll see, you know, the get-go right next to the Giant Eagle. It's actually you know, on the opposite side of the street here, though. So the get-go is over here. That belongs to the Giant Eagle location. There's a Moon's food store. And I see another sign there that says Downtown Lakewood. So that must be kind of like the cutoff on this end where Bunce Road is. Or... If you go down Bunce and a little bit down to the left, there's a tiny little park along the right side by the railroad tracks. Supposedly at that little park. I mean, there's a tennis court there, but when you look online There's a map like oh, where are pickleball courts located and They list the pickleball court there and then when I checked on Google Maps It wasn't like they redid you know the entire court or put a new quarter and I think someone just slapped maybe Pickleball lines on the floor So I don't I don't necessarily count that as a pickleball court, but if you are interested in pickleball, it could be something to check out. I personally get confused when you have like multiple lines of quartz layered on each other. On the left over there, you have a, another salon along with Giorgio's Pizza Company and I won't even try to pronounce it, Chequan Garden, maybe? Oh, I just discovered another bike store on the left there after Synergy Home Care and some other place there's a 
sign that says the bike spot. So on our right here, you've got a China Express store. And then Tony's Pizza. It looks like several stores where there's not nothing in operation. Wise guys. I like the model homes here for the house hotels. Yeah, and then more spots where the dining establishments don't seem to be here anymore. Oh, Tony's Pizza must do food truck business, too. You can see over there there's two food trucks that both say Tony's Pizza. And if you ever wonder where St. Edward's High School is, because they compete very well in uh, high school sports, including especially football. Right there is where St. Ed's High School is. This is a an add-on, the innovation portion right here. My only exposure of having been in St. Ed's was probably like 15, 20 years ago. Or if someone threw out a, I don't know, it looks like a pretty nice circular wooden table. Yeah, like probably 20 years ago. They would do rummage sales, and I remember going to a rummage sale for at least two years, maybe three. And I definitely remember one item I picked up. It was like a kind of a basic computer table, but it's actually the same computer table that I use presently. KB Confections Bake Shop. Brett's Manor. So there's several places inside of here, like construction or liquid exterminating. I'm trying to think to myself if there's, there's any homes that actually still exist on Detroit that are being occupied by tenants like uh, actual you know places where people live and I was I think I recall a little bit further ahead near Cove I think there are some houses on the left side of the street This street intersection here is always unique. It's like splits off into multiple directions. I try to, if I'm ever going from Franklin to Detroit or from Madison to Detroit, I try to like use that as a the method to go. On the right side, you have a laundry diner as well as gray dog diner. That'd be fun to try one day in the morning. An old 
Cleveland, or not Cleveland, but Lakewood Diner. Here's the Nicholson House, built in 1835. See, this is what I was talking about, how, uh, you know, it's available for event rental, but something like this isn't, like, being occupied by a homeowner. And similar, this place over here, you know, it looks like a big, huge mansion. But we'll see the signage over here indicates that it is called Enos Court, an assisted living place for seniors. On the left side there, you've got Corky's Place. And then that next spot there is the Lakewood Garden Center. It always stands out to me because they have those uh, outdoor chairs and there's always one that's painted for like the Cleveland Browns colors. This is Clarence that we're passing right now. Here's another example of two places where I can't remember what would have been here before, but I distinctly remember when both the Family Dollar and Drug Mart were built here. So we're sort of around the same time. There's Church of the Ascension. We're now approaching Grace. Followed up by Cohasset after that. This drug mart here moved here, like I said, a long time ago, but it used to be located where Valley World is now, which is about probably like three or four blocks from here. Yeah, Drug Mart moved here and then Valley World moved into the old Drug Mart. I have always found it a little bit surprising. I know Discount Drug Mart is like a local Northeast Ohio place only, but I thought it was interesting that there's two drug marts in close vicinity to, to each other, relatively close. I mean, I've passed by two of them just in this, uh, just by walking in this video. The other one was at Kaufman Park. One day I'll have to do a video that walks down like either Grace or Cohasset because the houses are pretty big and fun to look at on those streets. Now we're coming up on, I hear a scooter to my right. Coming up on Almeida. We've got the Lakewood City Hall Annex. So the Division of Health is on the right side there and it looks like the Division of Water on the left. 
and then on the left side of Detroit, you've got Lakewood Municipal Departments and Municipal Court. And I'll, I often see the police also coming in and out of there. This bus stop is a brand new bus stop within the past couple of months. Well, it appears that the Division of Health, Income Tax, and Water are the three things located in that annex. You're good. Almeida is uh, always unique in Lakewood when I go down it because it has a median in the center. So traffic going on the north or south is separated by a median with trees in the center. So yeah, it's like several blocks where I could really do a video going up and down. Yeah, over there is where you can see it says Lakewood Police Headquarters and coming out of that driveway is where you will very often to see police cars coming in and out. Oh, you know what? Here we go. We may... Oh, no, it's not. I was about to say this may be a residential house, but it says Rosenberg Advertising. I guess technically it could be someone who lives there and operates a business, but maybe not. This used to be... Uh, I guess it is still a church, but someone else must have bought it out because it says Emmanuel Myanmar Church. But it used to be, uh, I think, Faith Presbyterian? Is that what it used to be? No, United Presbyterian Church. That's what it says from 1905. <laughs> and by the way, what we just passed was, I forget if I said this joke already, but that it was Lakewood Avenue. So Lakewood Avenue in Lakewood, Ohio. And coming up here is Cove. Just to my right, I'm determined to try this Italian place one day because I've passed it for years and years. Pepper's Italian Restaurant. Doesn't look like they're open at the moment. I don't know, are they open period? <laughs> they don't even have hours listed on their thing. Hopefully they didn't close for good or something. But yeah, they would also have like a little outdoor area. I don't know. Now see all of this right here. This, the next block, and the block after that on the, but on the left side, used to, to my recollection, just be empty parking lots. Maybe it was something else before that, but that's what it was but i was you know able another thing i was able to witness in the lakewood development they've been here a while now probably at least i want to say eight years or longer but yeah these are all you know have been built during my cognizance now this is what i was going to say earlier when i thought there was actual like people living on detroit avenue right on the corner of beach it looks like multiple units like kind of stacked all next to each other but it says the beach but i'm assuming that you've got like one two three four five five to six like townhomes almost
But yeah, that whole block, you can see where it extends down that way. And then it extends over here. I, I'm pretty sure it was all like the same developer. Because I even remember when they first came out, they were... One of these places, like over here, was called like the model home. Where you could go in, that was like the first one developed. And you could go in and look at it and to talk about it if you wanted to lease one of the properties. Yeah, I, I mean, I've never actually seen the inside myself, but it always seems like a nice area when I pop by it. Indigo perfumes on my right. And then a sh place called Shore Restaurant Hot Corn Beef. And then Sugar Bar. I assume that's another salon. And then New Era Cleaners and Tailoring. On the left where that guy just came out of, you got the 5 o'clock lounge. And that's where I was talking about Drug Mart used to be located, now it's a value world. It sounds funny when I say this stuff though, because when I say used to and now, it makes it sound like, oh, it just, just happened. But in reality, time flies and it's probably already been like that for a decade or more but i'm trying to give some perspective for people who may have been here you know even longer than that and are curious like oh when did that change or what did that used to be on the corner of detroit and newman you have a cleveland clinic family medicine location seems to be called the rockport branch maybe and on the, on the left, you've got the Ohio Inn. Another salon is over there. Now the sidewalk up ahead is going to be closed because it used to be like a car place, but they've torn it down. And I've I know I read the article, but I forget what it's going to be going in here. Now, the Chamber and the Fantasy Nightclub. I don't know if that is... Oh, let me see here. I don't want to miss this. A place called Despina's Bakery. See some of their items on there. Yeah, I don't know if any of that stuff's open. The Fantasy or Symposium nightclub. Oh, I'm missing another place. There's a place called Southern Cafe right there. But yeah, they see they've already torn down the building here. Here's Coutant. On the left is the North Coast College, it used to be called Virginia Marty College. You can even see VMC 2003 still on the top of that one building there. But they renamed it at some point to North Coast College. This place up here on my right, you can see a lot of people outside. It always seems to be very well attended. It's like it's called the Founder Concert Club.
Yeah, it's a metal club, it sounds like. I know that used to be a Payless shoe source, now it's an urgent care. And then we are now here at West 117th Street with Walgreens on this corner. Lake Erie International High School over there. There's a few post office boxes there as well as a real tiny park. And then a G Gordon GFS store is right there just before the railroad tracks. And this is the border of Lakewood and Cleveland. So you can see the sign over there says 1796 Cleveland. All right, so what I was gonna say was I need to catch the, or I wanna catch the 78 bus to take me back into Cleveland, but that comes in about 10, 12 minutes. So initially it was going to end at Detroit and our 17th, but I guess I can use this opportunity to walk up 117th going southbound. So on the corner there on the Cleveland side, you've got a sit down pizza hut with an Arby's. And then a McDonald's on the Lakewood side. So remember, right side of the street, Lakewood. Left side of the street, Cleveland. I'm pretty sure the designation goes, uh, extends out to this way. I think there's a couple of animal hospitals, if I'm not mistaken. There's one here, Robert and Went Animal Hospital, and I think at the corner of Franklin that there's another one. There's a rallies. I should pop in there one day and tr try their rally queue. When I was a kid and I was a very picky eater, my brother used to get a rally queue all the time. And at the time I was like, I don't want that. But if in my head, I think now a rally queue is like a sloppy joe and I like sloppy joes are one of my favorite things to eat. So again, we are walking from 117th in Detroit and then taking 117th southbound to get to Madison. This little plaza here has another Mr. Heroes and a place called Panda Walk Asian Cu Cuisine. And then we've got another Dunkin' Donuts and another Taco Bell. Yeah, I guess I have covered a lot of ground because Kaufman Park's pretty, pretty decent distance away from here. That's where the other Taco Bell was and Duncan was a little bit 
even further eastward. Some place called Funhouse, Beers, Spirits, and whatnot. Enter if you dare. This is the other, I guess it's not an animal hospital, it's Cats Welcome in the Doghouse Pet Resort, Daycare, and Spa. So it's a, it's a pet spa. That's pretty amusing. KFC. I'm going past these places all the time. I always know to check the driveways of cars that are exiting. Then you've got Lakewood Laser Wash and an Aldi on the right side. You know what? Do I have time? Uh, my bus is going to come in about five minutes or so. I do need a loaf of bread from Aldi. Maybe I'll try to run over there real quick. Alright, you tell me, did I do good? I ran in and got my bread and box of cereal. I'll probably stop by tomorrow or two days from now, but time in and out, two minutes. <laughs> Went in straight to the bread, grabbed a box of cereal. They got the self-checkouts now, multiple ones. Right up to the self-checkout, scan, scan, pay, and then out the door. I'll go ahead and bag it once I cross the street here. Madison Avenue now. I have my head behind me because I always look, make sure cars aren't coming. I'm going to catch the bus right at that stop, but I'll go ahead and bag my stuff here at the Lakewood Mini Park. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.